My name is Dr. Zach Azan. I'm a conservation manager with Disney Conservation, and we are here at the Solar Array along the 429, providing solar energy to our theme parks here in Florida. Solar energy production is a critical component of fighting the climate crisis. The sun is giving us so much energy, and if we can make use of that, it helps us solve so many of the world's problems. And solar panels are getting cheaper and more efficient every single day. So now is the time to take advantage of this emerging technology and really make a huge impact on fighting the climate crisis. This solar array is able to provide energy to power two of our four theme parks, and that's awesome. But in addition to that, the way that we treat the land can actually provide habitat to the species that live here in Central Florida. So by providing native plants, bees, butterflies, grasshoppers, spiders, all sorts of backyard species show up. And next thing you know, I have this amazing habitat that is there living inside of an energy production facility. Pollinators are insects and other animals that visit flowers and help them reproduce. So every time you eat something like a strawberry or a blueberry, that is the direct result of these pollinators doing their work. In fact, about one in three bites of food results from the work of pollinators. So protecting our pollinators is critically important to protecting our food supply and frankly, life as we know it. The favorite part of my role is being able to walk out and show our guests all of the different types of pollinators. Here in Florida, there are over 200 different types of butterflies and 300 different types of bees. That is mind blowing to so many people who really only know about honeybees and maybe bumblebees. So being able to walk out to a garden and show them sweat bees and orchard bees and mason bees and uh, carpenter bees, it's just this amazing light bulb moment that I see happen with guests almost every single day and it makes me honestly weepy every single time I see it. So in addition to the classic mantra that we all know, reduce, reuse, recycle, something that you can do right now in your own home is create a pollinator garden. You don't need a lot of space. In fact, you can have a container garden hanging outside of a window. Um, you don't need a big backyard. And our secret when we make a pollinator garden is that diversity begets diversity. There's a huge diversity of different types of pollinators out there. There are bees that are bigger than ping pong balls and other bees that are smaller than gnats and they need different types of flowers that match their needs. So look for lots of different types of native flowers and put them in your garden and that way you'll attract lots of different types of pollinators and you will have a huge impact on wildlife all around you. 